While the host club had reason to celebrate with a win at their own tournament for the first time in six years, there were celebrations too for Kelso, who managed to get enough points as beaten finalists to win the Kings of the Sevens title. At the start of the day, three teams were still in with a chance of winning the K-7s, but with Melrose losing in the first round to Edinburgh Ackies and Kelso knocking out Galler in the quarter-finals, that meant Kelso are champions for the first time since 1998. But it was Selkirk who were the winners on the day, beating Kelso in the final by 33 points to 24. After Kelso took the lead with a Dwayne Patterson try, Selkirk ran in three tries of their own without reply from Aaron McComb, Ryan Cottrell and Blake Cullen to go into the half-time break with a healthy 21-7 lead. So it was important for Kelso to start the second half with a score of their own to get back into the match. But Josh Welsh scuppered that right from the kickoff, catching the ball and sprinting down the touchline to go in for Selkirk's fourth converted try. Just when you thought it was going to be a rout, Kelso hit back with three quick tries of their own. Dwayne Patterson crossed the line again, as did new signing Harry Borthwick and then James Thompson. And with the gap reduced to four points, there was still a chance for Kelso to seal it with the last play of the game. But with a touch of deja vu, Josh Welsh caught the ball from kickoff and ran down the touch line again to secure the win, and it was the home side which lifted the silverware on the day. Stuart Cameron, ITV News, Selkirk.